talking shit about me. Stop. Yeah, I don't want to so, talk about you. Know. I want to smack you up. Oh, what perfect timing! Oh, what a ah. lovely vision! It's a very dark vision, but it's uh, a dark vision of a lovely person, a lovely blonde. In three tenths of a mile, turn right onto Powell Road. So the wine tasting um, trip for New Year's Day of 2022 has started off a little unpredictable. We're having some turn right now. Minor problems of Shit. finding <laughs> a, a place. Proceed that's three open. miles on the current road. Start turn. Yeah. If this place is closed, I have one more idea. You have another idea? I have one more idea. What's your I'm, idea? I'm just gonna type in. Who are these girls? I don't know, but they should get out of the fucking room. Yeah. yeah. They should walk against the traffic. <laughs> Proceed on North Meadow Street. There we go. There we are. We have stopped at a bakery. Okay, here's Luca, Lucas. Lucas and and then the person driving us happens to be happens to be Luca. Yeah, yeah, I'm in a great fucking mood. Not too fucking happy right now. Anymore. This is All right, annoying. let's look up a wine store. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's my And then we just bring it back to the hotel. All right. To send you so that they can help save more lives. Well, it is your boy Luca Brassi. It's your boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The American dream, living his dream. Wine we are living the dream. Wine, wine on the rocks. Some We're good living snacks. the dream. We got some Mel Gibson on the tube. Oh yeah, you, I, you can't go wrong with *Lethal Weapon*, one of the best Christmas. And it was uh, a good um, salvage after having so many winery tasty yeah. taste tastery places shut down. Well, we still got tastery. Get, we still got to get dinner yet. <laughs> ah, I can't I wait. I can't wait to go back to Applebee's. Frankly, yeah. Yeah. And what are what are you gonna do when you get to Applebee's, honey? Um, I'm going to back the fuck up. I'm going to <laughs> try to get out of Applebee's without spending any fucking money at all. Okay? Nice. Okay. Good. 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 <laughs> That's my whole goal. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. See, I'm probably I have a, a French fry or an onion ring or whatever. And to sober up, I, rumor has it that whatever. you want to be pushed into the pool. Definitely. <laughs> no, I'll just stick with the food to sober up. All right. Okay, so now what were, you, what were you saying about before you, when you passed him your phone? What were you saying? I was saying I need to hook up to the hotel Wi-Fi, and oh. I wondered what my username was supposed to be. Oh, okay. And then you said something about the naked pictures on the phone. Oh, yeah. I, if dick pics came through yeah. when he was holding my phone. Okay. All right. All right. And in the meantime, uh, Luca Brassi, okay. you, you, you have a host of snacks on that bed over there, huh? Yeah, I was trying to cut a phone line. You know, I was trying to do a commercial phone. Right. Yeah. And you've got... Ooh, look at that. You've been an endorsement for Reese's Pretz. Yeah. I've never seen that before. I don't... I think I want this homemade... Oh, oh, you're candy. doing the commercial with it. Oh, now I got it. <laughs> and you mentioned something about having chicken and biscuits as well there, no, huh? chicken and biscuits. That's a classic snack, baby. Oh, oh, my oh, 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 the crackers. Yeah, they're delicious, man. That oh, I've had them. At, yeah, in fact, I didn't even think they bought... Bizarre. I bought them at my nearby the dollar store in my neighborhood, I believe. Uh, they I sound, know, I they sound like... Oh, market right. 32, excuse me. All right. I feel like I should do a commercial. 
commercial. You're in a hotel room in the dark. And the I got, I get the blonde. The blonde's in my bed. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. At this hotel room. <laughs> I guess I'm used to it. I don't know. Yeah. I need to see you. Somebody wiped their ass with that towel. Oh. Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Are you gonna do a shot with me? The hotel hallway. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Ah, thanks for the warning. <laughs> Never gonna yeah, make no, you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna <laughs> run around and sit with you. And I think it's her. This is the elevator portion of this 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 film trip. A little tipsy. Not yeah, bad, not bad, not bad. Making bad decisions. You, <laughs> you're here. I'm about to try. About to go to Applebee's and make some. You're a, you're a little tipsy, or I am? You mean? Uh, well, you're I almost am. falling down, bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I do that when I'm sober before I've even drank anything. Okay, yeah. Let's see if we get the concierge. Yeah, I got, I got the, the, the counter is concierge free tonight. Okay, wow. This is amazing. It's almost like this, this whole hotel. This whole hotel. That great with the map earlier. I, Me? Yeah, I think you were oh, just. Man. Yeah, you were, you were no help at all. I think you were just looking at it and being like, oh yeah, this map is fucked. And then you were like, oh, and then do. The oh, more damn. power they have in real life, the more they, the like more they need to get dominated. You know? yeah. Or it could be called Old Mask. No, it's a, it's so it's Old Spice, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Guinness always fits the glass just right. Yes. They Those must have uh, planned for that. They knew I was coming. They were thinking of you when they made it. So what, yes. uh, what's the, the... I always wonder what the ball thing is. Like, oh. It's like the worm in a bottle of tequila. Why is there a ball? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember why, but I always wonder what it looks like. I can't see it. We should Google it. Cut open the fucking... No, it's too I forgot what it even does. It's like the worm in the bottle of a, a bottle of tequila. Downtown Schenectady, January 4th, 2022. The holidays are over and things are getting back to normal. The city workers are taking down the Christmas wreaths that were uh, on the street lights to put them away for next year. Lower State Street, we have KFC. In my days, it was called Kentucky Fried Chicken. Will it ever be called Kentucky Fried Gizzard? And to the right is the old Beef and Brew Bar and Restaurant. I guess they're going to save that for something. The CGTA bus stop by Liberty Park. And where the bus station used to be to get a bus ticket out of town. Now it's a larger parking lot with two porta potties in it. The old YMCA in downtown Schenectady, I recall one time me, my father, and my brother went there for a swim night. We were wearing swimsuits, but about 50% of the guys there were buck naked. I'm kind of modest. I prefer a swimsuit. The space between the two buildings isn't much. Uh, but across the street we have the Schenectady County Community College. And to the left, a panhandler 
greets oh, the traffic yeah. coming off of 890. Washington Avenue, the site where the YWCA is. And as far as I know, this is where it still is and always will be, I guess. That's where you go if you want to find a woman. Uh, not really. A church on the corner of Church Street. Not sure the name of it. As we come into the stockade section of Schenectady, we have the Riverside Park, where there's playgrounds and swings. There are uh, footpaths, and uh, there's views of the Mohawk River and the old railroad bridges that cross the Mohawk River. This view gives us an island in the middle of the Mohawk River with the Western Gateway Bridge in the background. And kids, should we wake up Woody Woodpecker? On second thoughts, he's probably hung over. Time to fly away to another section of Schenectady. Ah, Vail Park, located off Veter Avenue in Schenectady. This section of the park has got a pavilion, not used too much this time of year. It's probably several years old. I'm sure many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches were eaten under this pavilion. And just look at my truck. Doesn't that look sexy? The backs of houses overlook Vale Park from a bank high up. A great place to walk around with trails and little ponds, and you might even find some drawings, some artwork on an old mausoleum. And here we have a very enchanting stream. Just hear the trickling of the water as it gives its healthy flow. To the other side of the trail coming out some brand new drain pipes that look very diesel. As we come up a hill we come into the section where the older cemetery is a veil, where there's not as many tombstones around, but there are quite a few in different spots. There are many individuals here, and this is where they get to rest, and it is just a very peaceful place to visit. I love cemeteries. And here is the path to come into the uh, newer section of the Vale Cemetery, where there is a lot more tombstones. And you can see there's like a confectionery, sugary layer of snow throughout the grass and the tombstones in this glorious uh, spiritual uh, kingdom. Lots of places look like the Lord's home. Don't tip over tombstones. It's a juvenile thing to do. It's evil. It's unorthodox. It's vermin. Don't tip over tombstones. They are very colorful, gray and black. They are here for people to admire.
Van Vranken, uh, gravestone, tombstone monument. Probably the Van Vranken responsible for Van Vranken Avenue, where I used to have a barber shop. 1823 through 1882. Not a very long life, but his wife, Elida Vrooman, his wife, 1827 through 1922. Gee, she almost lived 100 years, 95 years or whatever. And these poor children did not live very long. Oh, Mother Mary, my truck is in poor health. Please look over my truck and guide it to the most righteous path that it can go to. Callens Park, a frozen over pond from the opposite side of where Jumpin' Jacks and the, and the playground are. As we pan right, we see the lake is frozen over However, we have some people playing on the ice. I don't suggest this, especially on a day like today where it's kind of a wet frozen, not a dry frozen. A few days later, on the other side of Collins Lake, this is the view that you get. There's uh, slopey hills and kids go sledding on here when there's snow. We haven't had much snow this year yet. Uh, here is the library that's been in Collins Park since, since dinosaurs roamed the earth. Probably the 1700s, maybe 1800s, quite a long time. Don't know if the same books are still in there. Again, there's uh, a lot of banks and slopes that make for good sledding. Another view of the uh, park. It's got a big, big field. There's a few baseball fields on it, tennis courts. Another view of the lake. You can see the blue in the water, even though it's a much colder day and uh, the water is frozen over very hard. It is now frozen over well enough to walk on, as you can see. Uh, there are people out on this pond and they're walking around. I still don't like to go on frozen lakes and ponds. It appears somebody has got a... Uh, battery-operated race car and they're controlling it with a remote. They're, uh, I guess it's got uh, spikes so it can go on the ice. A house I was faintly interested in, for some strange reason I like the location, I don't like the looks of the roof of it. And again, I don't know if I, uh, it, it looks like it could be junky inside. And I don't know why there was an uprooted tree in the front yard. And it might have been a foreclosed on house. And if that's the case, I can't trade a house for a house. Other houses that are uh, in my price range, uh, still not too impressed with the neighborhood on this one. And then another one, uh, Again, there is nothing there that really uh, catches my attention. Oh, it seems to come with a traffic cone. I always find those things at the end of my driveway. Now here is a possibility in the village of Scotia on Lark Street. It is, uh, I would, if I bought this house, I would be downsizing, definitely. It's about half the size of the house I'm in now. Uh, and it's a ranch-styled home. Kind of looks like those card houses I used to build all the time. And this one has a garage. That would be more like the way I would want to go. In Hamilton Hill on Albany Street, 
There is this apartment complex I happen to have a chance to take a picture of, and this was called, uh, oh, we got a lot of artwork here uh, on, the, on the building. I just love this artwork here. This was called um, the Hill Growth Love. Oh, no, it's called Hillside Crossings. Hillside Cro Crossings. I believe it's an apartment complex. I think people live there. Yes. A view of Cary Street and not. A convenience store that's been on that corner forever. I wish I knew the name of it. I'm sorry, I don't have it. The Knott Street Corridor is famous for uh, Peter Paws and other fine stores. A freight train goes through the Maxim Road and Erie Boulevard intersection. Ah, and let us feel holy when we're next to the St. Anthony's Church. Let's bring back those summertime festivals that we miss so much that this good church has always put on. After all, Seward Place is getting a lonely. The Knott Memorial always stands out high in the sky. It's a very unique piece of architect. A plane flies over from Schenectady Airport. The corner of J and Union Street, the funeral home across the street, we don't want to end up there yet. J Street, a view long distance of the post office. The post office has been there probably for a good 150 years at least. My guess is that it's been there as long as City Hall. It has many uh, windows. It's a very long corridor of a post office. I'm not sure what's on the second floor. However, just look at these ivory walls. What an interior. Ah. Never mind the graffiti on this street light pole. Just look at this. Marvelous post office. Liberty Street, with the Urban Co-Works Company in the background. It's a fairly new business, for, to the best of my knowledge. City Hall never really changes that much. If you look at it in a short, crop-down version, it looks the same as it did the day it was built. And Let's not forget the Schenectady Library. If you're ever escorted into this building, somebody might say to you, this way, criminal person. Ah, uh, and some of us have to use a laundromat, which reminds me, I have been without a working dryer for over three years now. I hang my clothes up on a clothesline in the basement. Nothing better than a stimulating martini on a cold night in January. With the sizzling and crackling of chickpeas on a cast iron skillet. Followed by a good source of omega-3s. And don't forget to wash the dishes. After all, that relieves a lot of stress, tension, and negative energy. What a wonderful thing to have around the house. A couple of lovable grown puppies with beautiful brown eyes, kind of like doe eyes. As they bask in the sunlight on the couch in my study as the sun comes through the window. They're just like us. They need daylight so they don't feel depressed all the time. It is so great to have somebody to will look out the window and warn me of what might be going by. They look at you with such love in their eyes. How easy is it to love a dog more than people? For me, it's very easy. Again, all they do is keep you company and let you know that everything is okay. 
and they ask for very little in return. I would just have a whole room full of them if I could. But my thanks to my friend who lets me babysit her dogs every once in a while. We're just one big happy family. <laughs>